Happy hump day to you. You almost through the week. I got something good for you today. But I did say, how you doing? Okay, I didn't let you respond. I just went right into it. <laughs> I'm just like, I did. But look, <laughs> y'all, let's go to do the housekeeping before you make me forget. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified. If you got extra time on your hand, go and watch a commercial or two for your girl. Put a little coinage in her pocket. <laughs> look, y'all. Today, we're going to make us some good old pinto beans, okay? Don't be scared of them or whatever, whatever. I'm going to show you how to make it taste real good. They're going to be like, who made them pinto beans? Just raise your hand. I did. <laughs> but look, got to get into this pot. I got like a pound of pinto beans. It don't matter what brand you get. I put a pound of pinto beans. You got to make sure you rinse them off and stuff. If you see any little rocks or stuff that don't belong or don't look quite right, just toss them out, okay? Some people let their beans soak overnight. That's not necessary. I, I rinsed them and I had them soaking in some water for about an hour. It don't really matter. We're going to make these things taste good. You hear me? Okay, so now we're going to put some season on this thing. I got now, you can also these seasons if you want to, but I'm going to tell you how to make it taste good. Okay, we got a tablespoon of complete season. And don't be coming talking about that's too much season. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Just keep on moving. You hear me? But look, put a, a teaspoon of black pepper. <laughs> We're going to put a teaspoon of garlic powder. A half a... Ooh, girl, you made me spill the season. That's supposed to be a half a teaspoon. Let me scoop some... <laughs> A half a teaspoon of tortoise. <laughs> I'm gonna have the this I'm gonna have all the seasons listed up under the description, okay? And you girl, you make me mess up. Why y'all be trying to sabotage me? And this is a half a teaspoon of adobo. Now, if you made me say the stuff wrong, just look in the description and it has what I put in here, okay? Because you always try to sabotage me. We gonna put uh two uh cubes of Bouillon, chicken bouillon in now. And then a table, I mean, two tablespoons of sugar. I don't want to hit, I don't want to hit. Two tablespoons of sugar. And I also meant to tell y'all, hold on, let me do this part first for you made me forget. We're going to put, this is a half of, now this is about a whole green pepper. If you don't want to put that in your beans, you don't have to. A onion, put that onion in there. If you want to saute it, you can. There's no need to because this thing finna cook for about an hour or two. About two hours. Maybe even three. Depends on how uh, thick you want yours. Now, what I was about to tell y'all, get you two, uh, some kind of smoked meat. Sorry, y'all messed up. The tone has got to the cameraman. He was choking and stuff and stuff. But he all right. Don't worry about it. He all right. <laughs> okay. Well, like I was saying, get you some kind of smoked meat to put in here. I used two uh, smoked ham hocks. And I boiled it for about a couple of hours. And I got this, what they call pot liquor. Okay. You boil it. And then we're going to put this in here. We're going to use about six to seven cups of liquid. Now, you can use whatever you want. You can use chicken broth, whatever you want to use. But I'm, I'm using some pot liquor from the ham hocks, okay? Now, I'm also going to put a couple of, don't, you know, charge to the game, not to my heart, a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. I know you're like, I ain't never heard of that before. Well, you hear it today. And <laughs> we're going to put a couple of drops of Worcestershire sauce in that thing and a couple of uh, church lady pinch of uh, red pepper flakes. Just a couple, okay? Now, all we're going to do is just let this thing, you know, come up to a boil, then bring it down to like a simmer, and we're going to simmer this thing for a couple of hours. I'm going to come back and let you know, you know, how it's looking, let you see how it's looking, but I also shredded some of that ham hog, and we're going to put that in there when I come back. So right now, we're just going to cover it and let it do a little, little thing to thing. And then I'm going to show you, you know, so far how it look when I come back. Okay? I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay, so far it's been cooking for two hours. But I like my beans to get a little thick on them. So uh, 
I'm gonna let it cook another hour after we put the ham hocks in. So let's take a look at them at this point. Now, some people will probably wanna stop at this. Look at her, just take a minute and look how cute she is. She is cute. Okay, now we about to, oh, I meant to tell y'all before I uh, hung up from y'all a while ago, I forgot to tell y'all to stir it up. <laughs> Cause you know, we put all the seasons in and I was like, I ain't happy back. But I forgot to tell you, stir it up. <laughs> but you probably you know that. But we better put some ham hocks. Uh, we shred it up. Put that in now. Put as much as you want. Put that off in now. Then we're gonna stir her up. And she finna be even cuter. Watch what I tell you. I told you. <laughs> I told you. But I'm gonna let this go for another hour. And then I'm gonna play her up. Cause I mean, you see the greenery saying pickaboo off in there. Quit playing with her. And taste test to make sure it's where you want it to be. If you want a little more salt or whatever you want, you know, you just hook up how you want to hook up. But I'm about to put the top back on it, let it continue to simmer. And then when I get through, I'm just going to plate her up and you're going to see her. I need that. Okay, y'all. I know I lied and said I was going to be back when I played it, but I lied. I wanted y'all to see all this goodness in this pot. Look at her. You see her. I mean, come on now. This is a meal on its own just by itself. <laughs> this is a meal by itself. Look how thick and stuff she is. And we ain't have to put no thickening stuff in here or nothing. Look at her. She cute. Okay, this time for real, I'm going to go on a plate of up so you can get a visual, okay? I be back. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back, and I'm finished with these pinto beans. When I tell you, it's some comfort in these beans. <laughs> y'all, and it'll be delicious for Sunday dinner because, you know, you can just let it cook on a little low or whatever, make the house smell real good and stuff and stuff. But look... <laughs> And it wasn't hard to do. You see all the seasons I thrown in there, except for the ones you made me spill a little bit. But I'm going to put everything in the description so you can just go step by step. And like, if you want to take away, I know a lot of y'all probably don't want no sugar in your beans. You know, we do that here down south. But uh, <laughs> let me go and let you look at her. Go and look at her. She cute. You know you got to have that cornbread in the beans. Quit playing with her. She cute. Look at her. You see the little ham hawks. I was saying pickaboo and little green pebbles and stuff in there. Quit playing. You know she cute. <laughs> yeah, some people like to mush their little cornbread up in there and eat. Ooh, when I tell you, if you never did it before, mush your cornbread up in them beans. And I bet you, you'll be full with just them beans and that cornbread. If you low on money and they asking what's for dinner, say beans and cornbread. I guarantee they're going to be full. <laughs> I promise you they will. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all so much for spending this time with me on this hump day. I know you got plenty of things to do, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to make these pinto beans, and it's cheap. You probably can get them for a little over a dollar and 30 cents or something, or you probably can get a little cheaper. But, you know, just... Put, you got the seasons already at home. Get your little seasons and stuff. And then whip that thing together. Get you a couple of ham hocks or either turkey. You only got to use ham hock or, you know, whatever you want to use. Any smoked meat. But, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also, hit the bell to be notified. If you got extra time in your hand, go and watch a commercial or two or something, something. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Please stay safe out there. And I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.